Thank you everyone for coming. Um, my name is Shashidran. I'm a research associate at CSIC. We have a project that's looking at developing risk-informed approaches for maintenance and management of bridges. And today I'm talking about a particular part on bridge scour that we have been looking at um, on climate resilience side of things there. So transport asset management, as you all would know, is sort of looks at it, the decision making at two different levels. One at a network level, where the budget of the economics is sort of driving the decision making on when to maintain, where, what to maintain while at the individual project or asset level, maybe for bridges, for example, it's very much the asset condition that drives the decision. But at the end of the day, the actual condition drives the overarching picture and climate change contributes, or we need to look at the climate change from that perspective. And bridge safety, um, bridges being strategic connections in our network, cannot be taken for granted because one in 20 bridges in the UK are going to be at high risk of failure due to climate change by 2080, and 40% of our bridges are historical assets. And we have a huge maintenance backlog, as you know. And from a different bridge defects perspective, scour is something which is a primary cause of uh, failure worldwide. And that's essentially when, the action, due to the action of river flow, um, it takes away the river bed material, leaving these huge gap gaping holes. And if those scour holes are bigger than your foundation depth, makes the bridges vulnerable, as we all know. And we have had a lot of bridge uh, scour um, sort of incidents in the UK as well. And the risk of bridge scar equates to approximately 8.2 million passenger uh, disruptions for the railway industry in the UK. We have had 10 partial and full, uh, 10 full and 30 partial bridge collapses of road bridges in the UK. Um, and due to climate change, the expectation is that 20 to 65 million of money would have to be spent on risk mitigation from 2040 onwards. From a scar management perspective, what do we do now, or what are we doing right now, is slightly unresponsive to a climate change perspective. We have a varied scar risk assessment across our different infrastructure authorities. There's an uncertainty in decision making because of infrequent uh, inspections, and also the current guidance is they do not effectively consider the impact of climate change when uh, we look at things. And it's a complex problem, of course, because it's a multiple factors that contribute to that one risk of scar happening on a bridge. That becomes a structural factor, an environmental factor, geologic, uh, river flow, and of course, climate with variations in temperature and um, precipitation impacts all of that. Are we sort of looking at all of that? Probably not, not much as we need. So one key thing uh, when in these kind of situations is trying to understand what's the warning time that we have before a bridge becomes vulnerable to failure. And particularly from a climate change perspective, how can we see that warning time changes over different climate scenarios? So you could look at climate <coughs> predictions, look at river flow modeling, which then helps us to understand what that warning time is. So we looked at some, we developed some models and then did a case study with Network Rail on four railway bridges on a particular route in Southeast England across uh, River Great Stow. Uh, we looked at what are the flood um, exercise right now, what's the river flow modeling under different climate scenarios, and then modeled that into the risk of scour for each of those bridges. As you can see there, most of the, all the, all the four bridges are becoming vulnerable at different time of the flood duration. Some of them within 12 hours of flood, if there is a continuous um, peak river flow, it becomes vulnerable. So this sort of an information helps asset managers to prioritize any operational restrictions at that point of time. And from a climate change perspective, comparing the baseline, which is a green one on the left side, to the remaining uh, aspects in 2030s to 2080s, you can see that even in a low climate scenario perspective 2.6, uh, climate change really aggravates the risk of scour. So that's a key information that we could um, bring out to plan for our risk mitigation strategies. The future works are essentially, we have already developed a value of information model trying to understand what monitoring technique to use when. So based on this sort of information on climate change perspective, is there a difference uh, we find there? That's something that we want to look at. And also to prioritize bridges based on uh, operational criticalities and also to develop a cost modeling exercise to see what's the risk mitigation strategies that we can have looking into the future. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please you can get in touch with me. Thank you.